Hi, this is Alex Olgovsky. This is the second video where I will answer the questions we hear most often from you regarding audio version solution. If you have a question that I did not answer here, or if you need more information for one that I did answer, you can use the contact details below to get in touch with our team and we will be happy to help. Do I need to deploy dispatching SBC if I already have a PortaSIP cluster? Yes. The dispatching SBC will link the systems in your version mode, and it is required to deliver calls across systems. It knows in what system the customer record is located and delivers the call there. The dispatching SBC is deployed on the target system, meaning the release of Porta switch you want to migrate to. You can configure it on an on-premise server or on a virtual server. Does the dual version architecture provide any sort of redundancy? The source and target dual version Porta switch systems, meaning your current production system and the system you are migrating to, operate independently from each other. So, when either system is down or unavailable, those services do not fail over to the other system. To ensure uninterrupted service provisioning for every system and dual version Porta switch, you need to make every system redundant. In general, the redundancy of the system can be achieved in two ways. You can deploy billing, SIP and web clusters, or you can disperse your system across multiple sites. The latter solution provides high availability and geo redundancy options, and that is what we recommend. Keep in mind, however, that for dual version, both of your systems uh, should conform uh, to high availability and geo redundancy. How much time will it take to prepare everything for the migration, including deployment, configuration, and all the other preparation steps? First of all, the deployment and provisioning process is fully automated. So, if we were to do a migration in a port of one testing lab, the full preparation process would only take a few days. However, in the real world, things are different. A realistic time frame would be about one month between installing your target system and the first test of porting your customers. Let me give you a bit more detail on this process. After the new system, in other words, the target system is installed, our Porta1 team will need to conduct performance testing. Then you and the owner of this new system will need to conduct a series of further tests on all the main scenarios you are using in production right now. After that, both the old and the new systems will need to be reconfigured, and all of the databases will need to be copied over from the old system to the new system. Then they will need to be linked together. Finally, we will switch the IP addresses from the source system to the dispatching SBC that is located on the target system. Since we are talking about activities conducted on a leaf system, we usually schedule this reconfiguration for your off-peak hours. Depending on the size, the database copying may take a few days or even more. All of these activities need to be thoroughly planned. That's why, in real life, it usually takes about a month. What about the performance figures? How much time will it take to migrate all of my 20,000 customers who together have 200,000 accounts? First of all, let's assume that all your 20,000 customers are using roughly the same product. For this, Porta1 usually suggests an approach with an initial period of about two to four weeks for testing your pilot batch of customers. However, uh, the actual length of this period will highly depend on the size of the system, the number of products, and any integrations or customizations that have to be verified. All of these things will drastically influence the length of the production migration as well. That's why we suggest separating such customers. Uh, for example, in the first batch, in the batch, we could migrate all customers who are using product A, B, C. The second batch for migration would contain customers who are using payment system X, and so on and so forth. Just to give you some more perspective, when we are making a migration, 
we might migrate about 1000 customers from the original source system to the new target system every night. Um, at that rate, it will take approximately a month to migrate your uh, 20,000 uh, customers with 200,000 accounts. By the way, you can also find real-life figures from a few recent dual version migrations in a presentation I made last year. The link should pop up here, so feel free to check it out. Is there any downtime during a dual version migration? Yes, there will be some downtime. During the dual version deployment stage, while reconfiguring the MySQL database on the original source system, there will be about one minute. Uh, during the dual version provisioning phase, there will be a few minutes. While we make the switch over the IP addresses used by your voice over IP phones or external applications. Um, during the porting phase for an individual customer, that customer will not be able to access their services for just a few minutes, uh, depending on the number of accounts that are connected to them, to them. However, the rest of your customers will function normally. Um, I hope you found these answers helpful. If you have more questions about dual version, please get in touch with our team using the information and links you see on your screen.